the last video we have discussed about C# -sharp generics this video we will discuss about the generic constraints basically generic constraint it used to specify which type of placeholder with the generic class is allowed it will give a compile time error if you try to instantiate a generic class using a class placeholder type that is not allowed by a constraints for example if the generic constraints specifies that only reference type can be used with the generic class then you cannot use value type to create an object of generic type let's give an example i am again using the js fidel uh, this compiler class is a generic class but it has no constraint if we by defining constraint we have to use the where t clone class this indicates that this placeholder only allow the reference type reference reference type let's see the calling program we instantiating using integer type but it will give as a compile time error let's see the error the type integer must be reference type in order to use it as parameter t in the generic type or method comparator t so let's fix this issue i am going to write the class name student i have already defined this class here this is the blank class so now instantiation is okay because the, the this might be the issue in my code editor so we need to create an student instance r is new student now i'm going to pass the instance of a student the compiler error gone and if i run this application again we'll see the results are same let's fix this issue let's create another student instance we name it s1 and we'll pass is one let's run again this is fine the inputs are not equal because the instances are different so here is the table of constraint the first constraint is class the second constraint is start means the type must be value type if we define if we give the constant struct we'll see the compile time error again let's fix by adding the value type data type so we have to pass the integer data let's the let's run again the new type must be public parameterless constant also the constant might be base class name so let's see the example i have already written a class base class it has two child class child 1 and child 2 let's see what will happen if we put the base class name as constant we'll see again the compile time error so let's fix by adding base class 